Uh, you know what? I think it's a dead tie between Gracia and Yoshimoto. Let's do Gracia's because I think I can actually finish Gracia's in an hour and a half. Yoshimoto's, we have to, like, get... Uh, we don't have to, but I want to get, like, Munshigi and Genshio at least to evolve. And maybe if Kotaro's in this episode, it'd be cool if we could grab Kotaro, but I don't know. But, uh... I think I can get Gracia's done today. So, let's do Gracia's. All grown up. Although her father is concerned, Gracie is delighted at the opportunity to set out on her own. It's time for this little girl to grow up. Let's go. Please put me right next to Kanetsugu so I can easily Dark Pulse recruit him. Once upon a time, at a gathering of Ransei's warlords, a decision was reached. A test was to be carried out to determine the strength of each kingdom's junior warriors. A warrior would be selected from each kingdom, assigned a castle at random, and asked to demonstrate their skills on the battlefield. The warlords themselves were not allowed to offer any help. Our placement actually matters here because if, like, if we get put next to, like, Kanetsugu, we can breeze this. Or Yukimura. We can breeze this pretty easy. If we get put to next, like, uh, words, if we get put next to, like, Tadakatsu, he'd be really hard to recruit, and that would be annoying. So, you want me to become a warlord and help unite all of Ransei, father? No, I am not permitted to assist you in any way. This is a test for junior warriors, not for warlords. If I were to involve myself, it would be akin to a parent fighting their children's battles. Oh, so I would have to do battle without you, father? Yes, I know you don't want to leave my side. Without me, you... I'll do it. I've always wanted to visit other kingdoms. With you telling me never to leave the castle, I hardly ever get the chance to travel. But this contest will let me travel as much as I want. Huh. I'm not sure this is such a good idea. I accidentally double tapped there, but I was able to read it, thankfully. All right, where did we start, chat? I should have asked chat to guess where we were going to start, but we started in Dragnor, unfortunately. That's my bad. Uh, we got the Frozmoth dude and the Celio dude, the gamers. Starting next to Magoichi sucks. We haven't evolved him. This is Oichi's army? Starting next to Oichi is pretty good, because we gave her a Hydrogen. And we started next to Okuni. That really sucks, because Okuni hasn't evolved yet. Wow, yeah, that's lame. This is an unlucky start. But there's Kanetsugu right there, and he only has one kingdom. Okay, so this actually isn't that bad. We do Valora, Avia, Viperia, recruit Oichi, recruit Kanetsugu. Maybe we'll also, we should also get Aya in this exchange, fingers crossed. Then we double back to Spectra, take out Spectra, take out Nick Storm. We've got all of the north. Then we just go on back down and clean out Munshigi and Yaksha. It sucks that we're so far away from, where even is he? We're literally as far from Yukimura as possible. Yukimura is the best one to get in this scenario. Begin battle against Valora, go! Alright, but this is still a pretty good start. We take Oichi out, we take out Kanetsugu, then we go back up to take out Magoichi and whoever is at the top left, Okuni. And we just go from there. Hopefully we get an opportunity somehow, some way to recruit Yukimura. Because getting Yukimura is the easiest way to deal with Tadakatsu. But either way, we're in... I think we're in a good position. Also, this Frost Moth is really good. No. Here. Yeah, I made that mistake last time. Uh, only two Pokemon to kill here. This shouldn't take long. This is a good Valora fight, and it's why I want to double right back up north because I don't want to have to... I don't want enemy warlords to be taking Spectra and Valora where I have to fight in them multiple times. Man, if only we had gotten Spectra or Valora as our start, wouldn't that have been nice? You're gonna one, two, three. Three, you're gonna one, two, three. Frozmoth can reach all the way over there, so this will be fun. Yeah, this is fun. You want to go here. Yep, there we go. Ba -bum, bum, bum, bum. I usually reset for a favorable placement in Junior Warlord stories. I can understand it. 
I think I did once in the Conquest 100%, didn't I? Didn't I reset once because I had like an atrocious start? I prefer to just let it ride because, you know, this is this is like the kind of RNG that's actually fun where it's like, oh, did you get a good start or a bad start? And like, I mean, you're going to be able to win either way, theoretically. But I, I can understand wanting to reset. Frozmoth can't. Uh, oh, it can't get all the way down here. Can you just kill here? High roll. Reset on Onkunis just to be near a Larvesta spawn. That makes sense. Fair. All right, we win this next turn. I'm a little worried with Oichi being in Avia. We have to get to... Because Wigglytuff is bulky and Oichi can heal herself to full once. Or at least heal 50, which is usually full. We have to get to Oichi's Wigglytuff really fast if we want to recruit her, and I really want that Hydrogen, because Hydrogen will make this all so much easier for me. So very much easier. Wah! I... I really think we can finish this episode before stream is over today. We got a little under an hour and a half. It's going to be a little tight. It might depend on what the AI does. I'm going to be skipping some save prompts to try and make it happen. But I think we can... I think we can make it happen. I would love to get this episode done and go ahead and choose the episode for next time today. Elyon, welcome to stream. This is a good game. I'd recommend replaying it. You should try out this Reconquered hack. It's still, like, very much Pokemon Conquest at its core, especially after you finish the main story. But, uh, it's fun. A little bit of quality of life changes here and there. A little bit higher difficulty. I think it's gonna actually be faster to get Frozmoth to Oichi if I do this. All right, that's one turn. Three turns left to kill Wigglytuff. I really hope Wigglytuff jumps right over to me. That defense and energy up sucks. Yes, come right to me, perfect. All right, now it's doable. Boom Burst is actually kind of scary here, but I wish the Frozmoth was over here already. I don't care about recruiting any of these other people. Oichi is worth like 12 warriors with Hydreigon. Will this work? Four damage, really? Huh. I think it's more worthwhile to kill you and get you out of the way. Actually, it might have been more worthwhile to go behind Celio and hit my own Celio now that I think about it. Especially because Frozmoth isn't going to jump well now. Uh, we might not be able to get Oichi. Avia is a really rough one to do early game like this. Fingers crossed, though. No matter what, we're going to win, and we're going to recruit Kanetsugu for sure. And once we have uh, Alakazam, Alakazam will really be able to speed stuff up. Yeah, I figured this is what you do. Get instincted, idiot. Sucks, doesn't it? Alright, two turns left to kill this Pokemon. I thought that that Starly actually just fell off the map for a second. Like, it just, it was, like, going to die. Ice Ball should do more damage now. All right, a little bit. Every bit helps. How much does this deal? That only does 11. We're not going to get this recruit. Maybe I'll get the Confusion. Although now that I think about it, the Confusion might actually be bad for me. Ooh, a flinch. It sucks, but we're going to have to go without Oichi. There's... I have to kill her on this turn? There's no shot. 
I needed the Dark Pulse to do like 20 damage minimum. Also, I should have just had the Frost Moth jump, I realize now, but oh well. Maybe if I get a super crit. An infinite crit. Ralts is worthless. How much can you do? 11. Maybe if it hit multiple times like fire spin, we could have a, a ghost of a chance. Oh, wait a minute. How much does this do? Hold up. Uh, we might actually be able to do it with a crit. Is the funniest thing about this. We have to crit on Gothitelle. It all comes down to a crit. Does this do any more damage? One. I'd rather stay here. Come on, critical hit. Watch me crit the Celio. Nah, didn't get it. That really sucks. A Hydrogen would have made everything so much quicker. And of course you get a lullaby. And Oichi is going to heal here. Ugh. That's so annoying. And you didn't get confused. That's really annoying. Actually, does that sleep mean we lose? Because I need Frozmoth to wake up to hurt this thing. We might have actually just gotten supremely unlucky because of that stupid sleep effect. Oh no, wait, no. Doesn't someone have shout? Unless it was the Celio that just died. You have shout. Good. Alright, we're safe. Well, this could still go really wrong, actually, but we should be fine. I'm not getting Oichi here really blows. We might not be able to finish this episode today because we got a really bad spawn with Gracia. The spawn sucks, straight up. Oh, cool, the confusion did nothing. I'm glad I wasted my time going for it. What a bad warrior effect. Or warrior ability, whatever it's called. I wanna check something real quick. Sorry, I had to look at something. Oh, my Frozmoth died. That sucks. And my Ralts. Wow, we might actually lose this. Did I get crit? I was tabbed out. Did the Frozmoth really die? I think we just lost RNG again because that's what always happens in Pokemon. That confusion not stopping even a single whatchamacallit. Wow, yeah, that, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and retreat. We literally can't win this fast enough. I hit the wrong button. That was super unlucky and I'm actually kind of mad. That was very dumb. This roll actually sucks. Chat, what, did I get crit? On the, uh... On the Frozmoth? Or did that... It had like 20 HP, right? Did it really die to a single one of those? This guy has a Ferrothorn! What is this awful spawn? I'm about to re-roll this stupid thing. This Gracia, who are the people in chat who said Gracia over Yoshimoto? You're getting banned. You're not actually, but I do blame you. I forgot how much Gothitelle sucks, which means Gracia is really dependent on who she spawns next to. If you scroll up, I said Yoshimoto, a likely story. 
You only have yourself to blame? It was a tie and you picked Gracia? No, I can still blame chat. Because if chat just hadn't said Gracia, then I wouldn't have had to have made a choice. Listen, we all know how it works here. I'm not taking any blame. At most, I'll blame RTK. But like, I'm the streamer. Why would I ever take blame? Get burned, idiot. Oh, I hate sitting through Spectra. Uh... Yoshimoto won at the same time as you picked? Well, no, then he didn't win because whoever was like the tie-breaking vote was late to the polls. You don't get to show up like an hour late to the polls and be like, but wait, if I voted, then this person would have won. Well, you should have voted on time. That's not how voting works. I cannot believe that this rufflet reached me. Ooh, can I hit the Pharaoh and the Rufflet with Frozmoth here? And you? That would be really good if I could hit all three of you with Frozmoth. It would be pretty pog, actually. It'd go a long way to making sure I actually finish this episode. We, we like, have to get to Kanetsugu and recruit him because I need Alakazam, and I, I kind of need Frostlast, too, but... I mostly just need Alakazam. We don't need Frostmoth because, or we don't need uh, Frostlast because we have Frostmoth, but it would be nice. Cast blames chat, RTK, Shroom, and Lone Wolf pretty much in that order. No, Slyro's in there somewhere. And Michael. Like, don't, don't be ridiculous. I blame Slyro plenty and Michael occasionally. I hate you a lot. I'm so sick of running into random warriors with heal moves. Get me out of here. Dude, stretch. Ow. What the heck is directed spikes? Ooh, these idiots are lined up for Frostmoth again. Let's go. That's sick. Please stop moving. Die. Can I get a Pharaoh kill with Celio here? Please. Don't lower roll me. Thank you. Chingling voice. Please kill. Nice. Alright. That went pretty well. All things considered. And that's a big boost in percent. We didn't recruit Magoichi, but I don't care because he doesn't have Sceptile and he's not evolved yet anyway. Although I guess him with Grovile still would have been useful, but yeah, whatever. Splitting hairs. Put you guys in Valora, because Valora is where I definitely would not want to lose. I don't want to have to do Valora again. Next month. All right, now we get Kanetsugu. Who's that at the very north? Is that Hanzo? That's Renmaru. Renmaru isn't evolved yet. Maybe we should have just gone to Nobunaga's story, even if it would have been another long one, just to get it knocked out. Give me you and you. Oh, give me the Rufflet over the Ralts. This Ralt sucks. Ralts is useless in this game. 
Its only use is to be able to evolve into Curlia and then eventually Gardevoir and Gallade. To Viperia, away! 